Hello friends, uh, welcome back to painting session with Tanima. Here I am back with a painting I made of Turgama. I chose this topic because I feel Turgama is one who actually shows the inner strength of a woman. So this is an overview and uh, we will start the painting now. So here we have a color chart. In this we can see the lighter color above and below it becomes darker. We will be using the colors in this order. So first of all we will wet the paper with the required area with water. And I, will, I am using a flat brush for that. Also then after applying the water we will apply the color and we will choose the basic base color as the lightest one on the color chart. So as we put the color with a flat brush because I feel that it is much more easier to use a flat brush uh, when you are when you want a smaller area as well as a larger area to cover together. So I am using that. Now when we want to actually mix two colors or uh, actually smudge two colors we will be first applying the color on the paper like I did and then with a round brush and water on that we will be smudging it off making it a faded effect on the paper this will give you an impact of actually fading the color towards the other color and uh, this will be using throughout the painting in most of the sections where we will want a gradient effect and uh, as you see forward it will be clear that how to use it in various areas of a face Now we will uh, color the lips, so in that we will take the red as the base color and then we will make a bit of shadow effect by actually taking off some of the color and putting a bit of orange over there. Here again we will be using the gradient effect which we learnt earlier uh, that is putting the color, putting darker color on the lighter sur color surface and then smudging it off with water on the brush. So I am doing the same on the neck area as well and it will give the shadow effect on the neck. So for the jewelry part I have decided that I will first start with the base color that is a mustard color uh, as it gives a gold impact um, and after that I will use wet on wet technique uh, on this color to put a reddish impact. So this is how like when the paper is wet you just put the color on that uh, and smudging it off uh, randomly so that it just looks uh, perfect and the water does the other effects like I am doing So now we will be using red color uh, to darken the areas which are having the depth. So first of all you have to decide the light source of when you are painting, when you are starting a painting. So here the light source will first fall upon the nose area and the forehead, in middle of the forehead. So that will be the most the brightest area. 
other than that when we will move to the left of the face and the right of the face it will be darker so that's why i'm using red first of all secondly i am also now putting some of grayish uh, effect on the up forehead as well as the side lines of the chin because uh, it will be much more darker than the other face section so uh, it is all about uh, light and the shadows now i will be uh, darkening the major shadows on the face and uh, that is the shadow of the nose as well as uh, shadow on the lips so that it actually get defined as well as we can see the chin so we will be using a bit of gray and just smudging it off now the it's time for detailing and uplifting the whole face uh, by just uh, coloring the eyes eyes is i feel that is the most important uh, and attractive part of a face so you should always take care of the detailing you are doing uh, for the eyes uh, the little sparkle is the most important part of the eye so just don't forget about it as i mentioned earlier so for the jewelry part now i will be doing a bit of detailing uh, with a brown shade on the already painted uh, earrings as well as the mukut of the gamma uh, it will give a defined a bit of def definition to the jewelry so i don't want to go into very minute details but a but a broad design can make it look even much more beautiful so now uh, we are here with the final step uh, that is putting the black color uh, be cautious about it when you are putting a darker color on uh, a painting because you have to be very much alert about the lines and uh, you just don't put a darker color on the lighter section because it will it, it is actually irreversible so this is the whole look uh, now i will be smudging off the black shade into the mukut because i don't want very fine lines which is actually right now as a condition i want it a bit smudged off i will again do the detailing with black but right now it should look like this so now i'm putting the shadow part it will not be very much defined lines it has to be a bit thick and thin lines defining the shadow of the mukut and uh, this is how it, it looks here comes the highlights of the mukut which will define that it is bright enough and sparkling i'll be doing this with a bright yellow shade uh, which will actually overpower the darker background now uh, the highlights that is by a white pen and it will also give an impact to all the sections which i will put that is eyes lips nose mukut and the earrings specifically the jewelry is actually because it needs a sparkle um so this will actually give the brightening effect of this painting here we come to the end of this video with all these highlights uh, but it was pleasure sharing this making of this painting with you all hope you like it and hope you found it as majestic as i did so do share in your comment that uh, what you liked and what you didn't like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching